together. Would you rather? So this game is really great for building rapport with your students, right? So how does this work? It basically works like this. Have your students write down questions starting with would you rather? So first you need to introduce some examples, of course, would you rather, um, would you rather, give me an example. <clears throat> would you rather ride your bike or go to the beach or something like that, right? Would you rather watch TV or play a game with your friends? And then they would pick. So depending on the level of your students, you can have your students write down their own questions, or if their level isn't that high, you can just prepare, or you don't have that much time, you can just prepare your own questions before the class, or you can just make them up on the spot, you write them on the board or whatever. And um, if the students write their own questions, they present them to one another in class, and they would ask each other, like, for example, would you rather eat worms or bugs? Again, if it's something a little bit more crazy, uh, especially younger students, they're gonna find it really funny and interesting, and it's gonna be a more fun game. And then what you as a teacher can do always when they pick one then, so would you rather eat worms or bugs? And then one student says, I'd rather eat worms. And then you always should follow up with why. So they need to make a statement and they need to tell you more about it, right? And express their opinion in English. So, and you, it's great for building rapport because you get to know a little bit more about your students, right? Why, what would they choose and why, what do they like, what don't they like? So you get to know your students better. And also, if you want to take part in it, have your students write some questions and ask you and then you answer. And they ask you why, why? Kids always like asking why anyway. So yeah, that's a fun game. Also, let's do an example. So you guys, would you rather have a vacation at the beach or in the mountains? And why? And why? So leave that in the comments. Would you rather have a vacation at the beach or in the mountains and why? I know my answer. I would rather be at the beach probably because I love the beach. I love the ocean. Um, I like the smell of the ocean. Mm, I like watching sunsets at the ocean, at the beach. Um, all right. Candace says, at the beach, it's fun being around water. Good. Also, encourage your students to make complete sentences. So I would rather be at the beach because it's fun being around water. Great. Margaret, I would rather have a vacation at the beach because I love the sound of the crashing waves. That's so nice. Same, same. Yeah. So perfect. Good. Great answers. So that's kind of what you want to do. If you have more advanced students, what you can do is you can present this topic. So for example, would you rather beach or mountains? You can, depending on how big your class is, split the class into two teams. One side is the beach team. One side is the mountain team. And then you give them time to write down arguments or positives about each location. And then you can do sort of a debate. You can make a debate out of it, right? So then four students, four students, each one of them presents an argument or a good reason why they want to go to the beach or why they want to go to the mountain. And then you, at the end, you could pick, you know, which team had better arguments so you, for more advanced students, you could turn this into like a debate session. That also works really, really well. Just an idea. And um, they like this type of stuff, you know, with two teams because kids or any type of students, they're typically very competitive um, and they also like doing that. Okay, Candace says, also, I would rather be at the mountain because there are beautiful sceneries. The view is beautiful. Yeah, exactly. So arguments, you could, you know, your students could come up with arguments like <clears throat> the mountain, you can hike, you could get exercise, maybe the air is better in the mountains. Um, you can see a variety of different animals. I don't know. At the beach, you can get a tan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Depending on your students level. But yeah. 
super easy, super fun. Uh, you can prepare your questions beforehand. You can also just present like images. Would you rather this or that? Yeah, that's what also what I was gonna say. Sometimes instead of would you rather I play this or that? Those are really popular. Like you see on Instagram stories, like the this or that kinds of Insta stories, you can use also you can also use that for your students or make your own this or that. Um, I play that with a lot of my online students. Um, I hold up the paper, this or that. So uh, chocolate or vanilla ice cream, this or that, Some, for example, basic question. Or uh, TV or Netflix, movie or Netflix or something. Um, yeah. So a lot of different options with uh, choosing, and this really encourages your students to express opinions and you also get to know them better. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing more to say about this game. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.